Hi there, I'm Stacy, the encaustic mixed media artist behind Studio Stacy. I just wanted to say Happy New Year, Happy 2022. <laughs> kind of crazy. This video we are going back in time to last week and I'm just going to kind of show you behind the scenes of what happened in a typical work week as I get ready for the new year. Good morning. <laughs> um, this week I think it's going to be a little bit of an unusual video in that I'm doing a lot of computer work. So I'm going to still try to take you guys along, kind of show you some behind the scene things. But basically I am backing up all of the videos and everything from 2021 so that I can then delete them off of my hard drive on the computer and start fresh with 2022. So not super exciting. Um, I hope you still find it enjoyable. I'm going to kind of do like a vlog this week. So take you through kind of the entire week is what I'm thinking. <laughs> it's only Monday, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking and I um, hope you guys enjoy. So pretty. Long day on the computer, so we're having vegan pho with some soba noodles for dinner. And the pho has been frozen, it was a leftover um, vegan pho that I've already made. So nice and easy and yummy dinner.
I decide to get out some encaustic gesso and put that over the charcoal because the charcoal is, steer, is still smearing quite a bit and I thought this might act as a fixative. I don't really have anything else to fix charcoal with that you can also use with encaustic so I try this and as you'll see here the encaustic gesso is quite opaque so it pretty much just covers that charcoal uh, drawing right up which again is no big deal that's why you experiment and um, I end up instead then decide to scrape into that gesso while it's still wet and kind of go back over that um, drawing to see if maybe the wet gesso mixed with the charcoal will also act as a fixative so um, that's what I'm doing here and in a while you'll see me messing around with some watercolors and that I am using on the dried gesso so the gesso is completely dry here <music> Just messing around in the studio here and I don't know if the camera picked up on any of what I just did um, it's pretty dark dreary <laughs> rainy and cloudy out today so apologize for the bad lighting but I also wanted to make sure I mentioned I put down some encaustic gesso onto this drawing paper and just to see what would happen if I mixed some watercolor with it and or some charcoal with it and the watercolor works pretty well with it, but I don't know if you can tell on the camera what I tried to get a couple shots of. The paintbrush picks up a little of that encaustic gesso. It kind of makes the uh, watercolor a little bit more opaque, a little bit more diluted, if you will. Um, not necessarily a bad thing, but it works pretty well. However, on the dip pen, the dip pen really picks up a lot of that gesso and I think because it's kind of more scraping along the it's metal versus the brush is a softer bristle brush and so you're not getting as much scraping of the gesso off so um, that's what I was trying to show you in these camera angles <music> sitting here editing this video and I realized I never talked about what these sketches were what I'm rather kind of my intentions of what I'm doing with these sketches slash doodles so I thought I would share that now I had to turn briefly because that lighting was not so great um, at any rate what I am sketching out are veins I know that sounds strange and unusual uh, specifically hand, eye, and heart veins. And the previous painting series that I've done have been more um, about external things, not necessarily, um, they are things that I care about, but I'm actually get, gathering and getting information from all of you and my newsletter subscribers, Instagram, feedback, and uh, of course YouTube. So. The last series was 100 Days of Painting Your View. So I had my newsletter subscribers send me in their views, favorite places they've been, pictures right outside of their door, things like that. And I painted those, which was a lot of fun. And then the series before that was my mini exploration series. And that series, I had people on Instagram vote for what I would create with. So while both of those were a lot of fun to do, and it brought in a lot of connections and I really, really enjoy connecting with everyone. This series, I wanted to go more internal and maybe a deeper meaning for what I feel. 
And of course you guys know I am a mixed media encaustic artist. So my eyes, my hands, and of course my heart are a big part of my art and of course myself. What you may or may not know is that I have a very rare autoimmune disease, which unfortunately has attacked these parts of my body. So they have an even more special meaning to me because of that, because I feel very blessed to one, still be standing here talking to you, and two, to have my eyesight and my ability to still paint and capture my surroundings. So this autoimmune disease that I have actually attacked blood vessels and veins in my eyes and they attacked my heart valve. It's a uh, blood clotting autoimmune disorder and I had to have a major, major surgery several years back on my heart. I have a large scar <laughs> in my chest and um, luckily, knock on wood, everything is great. I'm fine. I obviously have to be very careful not to get sick. And um, these past couple years have been a little bit tricky. Of course, we won't talk about that, but um, I am very blessed to be here. And so this is why I am sketching out veins in my heart, hands, and eyes. I want to eventually incorporate that into paintings not going to be being real literal about this, I don't think. That's more on that to come. Um, but I'm just kind of getting a few ideas out there, which is why I'm sketching this stuff. This is still very much in the preliminary stages of things, but I will um, be taking you along on this journey as I figure out exactly how I'm going to incorporate this kind of behind the scenes in the background is what I'm thinking of some future and upcoming paintings, a whole new painting series. Now that you're all caught up on that, let's go back in time a couple days ago and back to where I stopped this portion of the video. So doo -doo -doo, rewind back in time. All right, I'm gonna let that watercolor dry. And while that's drying, I'm gonna go outside I said it's foggy it's cloudy it's dreary but I think it's gonna make for some nice um, inspiration pictures this cloud not too bright the light seems kind of just about right so um, I will probably take you along but I think what I'm gonna do is do a voiceover afterwards because the neighbors are getting a bunch of work done and it is, they're running saws and all kinds of equipment out there. Um, hopefully it's not too distracting with this video, but I know outside it's going to be quite a bit louder. And I'm just gonna go around our um, property here and take a few shots. And so, um, like I said, I'll probably do a voiceover. So anyways, let's get outside. I don't know if you can hear that construction, but also started to rain. Sleet, kind of. But it's really pretty. Slightly cold, but really pretty. If you've been around here for any length of time, you know I love getting outside. I love nature. And I love getting into the woods. I think that specifically trees are one of my favorite things in nature. I think we have a lot to learn and can learn a lot from trees. They're resilient and they, they just bend in the breeze and inclement weather, weathers. And there's so many different species. Each one is unique in its own right and they change with the seasons. So um, I, I just, I really, really love trees and I do believe that some of this is also going to be incorporated into my next painting series. I mean, just look at this gorgeousness of the texture on the bark. And, um, you know, it's lost a branch, but it continues to stay strong and grow. And we need to, I feel, nurture this and care for our environment as much as we care for each other, hopefully even more. 
So at any rate, sit back and enjoy this little hike. going to leave you for this video. I hope you enjoyed coming along, kind of seeing behind the scenes as I'm slowly starting to figure out what my next series is going to be. I hope you will continue to come along on this journey with me. If you have any questions about anything, just definitely leave them down below in the description box. I'm more than happy to answer anything and everything that I can. If you did like this video, you know what to do great big thumbs up. It really does help me out. And if you aren't subscribed and would consider doing so, that also helps me out tremendously. More painting videos will be coming at you. So again, thanks so much for coming along. Thanks for being here. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.